Hi guys, I'm Duman Aurem and you're watching Tech 2 Indian Football Team for World Cup. And subscribe this channel, YouTube channel for all the updates of Indian football. My favorite football player is Eden Hazard because uh, I like the way he plays and the way how he dribbles. That's why I like it. Uh, when I was in my school, I used to play football with my friends and I enjoyed a lot. And after that, I uh, came to know that football is the only talent that uh, God has given me. So that's why I choose uh, as uh, football as my career. Uh, apart from football, the sports that I like is um, table tennis. Uh, whenever I feel pressure during a game or before a game, I used to think about the, all the positive things that I have done before. So, like maybe scoring a goal or uh, doing a good dribble. So I just used to keep thinking about all these things. So this keep uh, this give me more confident. Uh, things that I used to carry during a match is, uh, of course, football boots, shin guards, and some dry fruits to eat, uh, and some electrol water. That's it. My dream club is Manchester United. My favorite player in our team is Fran Morante. Uh, he is uh, very good. He is a very good uh, player, very good with the ball, even though he is a defender. So, and uh, he helps me a lot. Also, oh, all the players also are the same, but uh, the one whom I like the most is Fran Morante. Uh, I think the most under underrated player that I ever known was whom I play with was uh, Lale Moya. Now he's playing in Man uh, Norwich United. And before the time when we used to play together in Indian Arrows or uh, in the World Cup squad, he didn't get much. Uh, he didn't get much time to play. But I always knew that I'm not a coach or something like that. But as a friend or uh, as his room partner, I know that he was a very talented player, who was very good. And now he proved himself that he's a very good player, and even he is even going to join the national team. So I think before now he is very good player, but before he was very underrated player. If it's not about football, <laughs> I will probably I'll pursue my career in studies only, and probably right now I might be in some college. <laughs> uh, winning the Irish Championship this year. Actually, in the half time, whether we lose or win the game, uh, how we met, motivate each other is like uh, we don't think about the first half, like whether it is good or bad. We just don't think anything about it. We just want to focus like a new game from the second half, whether we win or whether we are winning or whether we are losing. So we just want to uh, we discuss that we just want to uh, focus on the. Uh, uh the second half and just and we'll try we are trying to start like a new game whether we're winning or losing uh the three goals that i would like to have before the next season is number one uh number one is to keep myself fit and secondly uh to be more better than the previous season and the third one is uh uh, trying to add up on ISL because I've never played in the ISL, so um, to try working hard, working hard to add up on ISL. Uh, mm, the player whom I trusted the most is Gurjin Dabaji uh, from Mohan Bagan, left back, uh, because he is a very good trainer. He is like a real brother to me, who he always helps me a lot and. He is very confident of, of himself also, so uh, I trust him a lot. I have worked with many great coaches from before when I started my career, but as uh, as of speaking for the person, uh, I think our coach Kivu is one of the best coaches that I ever worked with. 
I think playing in the World Cup in 2017 is was a stepping stone in my career. I think everyone, every football player struggle in their childhood and same for me when I was a kid, like even it's difficult for me to pursue my career in football, like other people doesn't believe in me and it's like it's very hard when I just started playing football the first year but after the second year when I started my professional career it was going slowly slowly and after the complete of second years playing in the World Cup after that my career got, uh, got better and better so after that but the childhood was a little bit troublesome for me also. Uh, yes of course mm, only we winning I League or ISL I think it doesn't consider as a um success in my career because success doesn't mean only getting only the region it doesn't mean like that but uh, for me the success is not only winning i league or isl my success is only uh, trying to improving day by day trying to be better from um, the yesterday so every day i want to improve as a player as a person so i think for me whether i win uh, the i league or isl um, my success doesn't depend on the region my success is only trying to be improved day by day as a player and as a, as a person so this is my success yes i have just said now uh, for success is the same only and to consider myself to be successful um, uh, in my career i just want to improve day by day and i have a lot of years maybe around probably 15 more 15 years as uh, i can play as a football player as a professional football player so um, uh, if i want to consider to be successful then in this 15 years in those uh, 15, 15 years i would like to improve uh, from season to season like from previous season to next season from the later season so i want to improve in each and every season and if i can play for the national team in those time in those years so i think i would consider myself as a successful football player what i want to say to all the young kids uh, those who want to pursue their career in playing football the main thing is to believe in yourselves and never lie to yourselves and uh, keep working hard and if, if you want to do something not only in football maybe anything if you lie to yourself if you not if you are not honest with your, yourself nothing will be possible so the main thing is just keep believing in yourself have trust in yourselves and be honest with yourself this is the main thing you should be doing if you want to become a football, become a football player or maybe anything else Winning the I League title with Mohan Bagan is a massive achievement for me because uh, it's not only not easy to play for a club like Mohan Bagan and and even winning the I League I League championship is more difficult so it's a great honor for me to win the I League with Mohan Bagan. The things that I like the most in Kolkata is the place because where I stay the. Uh, this is Kolkata, this place is beautiful, the people are nice, so these are the most important things that I like uh, in Kolkata. In my football career, Derby is the best, best match that I ever played because in Derby, this is such a, a good feeling. Playing in a Derby is a very, like, I think it will be every player's dream because Derby is another experience another feeling not like any other match so derby is uh, playing in derby is such a great experience for me so i feel very good about it uh, our coach kibu is a really good person not only a good coach i think uh, what makes him a good great coach is no, uh, not only about the coaching like but he is all like a very good person um, good personality great personality and very good as a person also I so this is the most thing that I like about him. Yes coach uh, played me in many different positions like uh, not different positions but uh, he told me before the game every time be confident do whatever you want 
like he gave me the free role to play whether in inside whether outside so this is a very helpful thing for me as a player because uh, I want to play all the time with the ball but if I keep only playing on the left wing uh, sometimes ball doesn't come to me so uh, the way how he tells me to just go wherever you want where the ball is just like be a free player so this helps me a lot uh, this year In the pre-season, I don't do much gym and all, but to keep myself here, I do some small stuff like maybe jogging, playing with my friends, uh, some soccer games or some uh, inside the room or inside my place, just some rope skipping, something like that, just only like that. And mainly during this lockdown, I just do some jogging here in my place and some rope skipping, that's it, nothing much. Uh, yes, of course, diet plays an important role in a, proper, uh, in a career of a professional football player. So, I think the most important thing is to control diet and to have a proper rest. If this, we don't do these kind of things, no matter how good you are, we are not going to achieve anything. And of course, for me, I don't have a cheat day or something like that, but uh, whenever I finish the game, the next day, I used to eat some junk foods. Probably I eat them foods in other days also but I eat more when I uh, I eat more when the game finishes when the game day ends because uh, when you play the game we lose a lot of calories uh, calories so so that's why I'm just eating more maybe junk foods or maybe some other things so after the game I used to eat a lot not direct cheat day like after the game after the game is like a cheat day for me Yes, of course, uh, playing for a club like Mohan Bagan is not an easy thing because the crowd, the fans, there's a lot of pressure. So after I come to Kolkata and after I play for Kolkata uh, for Mohan Bagan this year, I learned a lot of things. I became more mature as a player and I learned how to handle the pressure when we are losing the game or when we are winning the game, when we are getting more excited. So this is the things that I have learned after coming to uh, Kolkata and playing for a club like Mohan Bagan. Thanks for watching the whole video guys. I hope so you've enjoyed it. If you did then don't forget to like the video, share the video to your friends and comment down your opinions and also comment down whom you want to see in our next interview video. And for all the updates of Indian football, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at IFTWC.